So a patient has a sudden thunderclap headache, and five days later, he suddenly gets weak on one side. What's happened to him? Well, this is going to be a subarachnoid hemorrhage, and this is a delayed cerebral vasospasm. So after a subarachnoid hemorrhage, blood breakdown products irritate the cerebral arteries, and that causes vasoconstriction between days 3 and 12. And this is going to lead to ischemia and also some focal deficits. What they like to ask you on step 1 is, which medication prevents this? It's not enough to know just SAH. You also have to know the medication. And the answer to this question is nimidipine. It's a calcium channel blocker that improves neurologic symptoms. To make this super easy, basically after a subarachnoid hemorrhage, the blood is just sitting in that subarachnoid space. And so over the next few days, that blood will break down into irritating byproducts like oxyhemoglobin. These substances irritate cerebral arteries and they increase calcium entry into smooth muscle. That causes prolonged vasoconstriction. That's what people mean when they talk about a vasospasm. And you also get reduced cerebral blood flow, delayed ischemia, and focal neurological deficits. That's what happens in the sequelae for a subarachnoid hemorrhage. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. We'd love to hit 2,000 by Christmas.